Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create impressive personalized landing pages using Nextwave's very own website personalization plugin. So obviously we're going to begin with the setup for the plugin. So for this, navigate to the Chrome web store and just search for Nextwave here. You'll be able to see the Nextwave website personalization extension. Click on that and simply add to Chrome. Once done, you're going to be able to see this extension within the extensions bar in the Chrome header. The next thing you need to do is add a piece of code to your website such that the plugin can be enabled there. So for this, proceed to the Nextwave platform and navigate to the Manage Website section. Here you can add the domain of your website, similar to what I've done for our demo website. Simply click on Add Website here and enter your website domain. So this is a sample domain that I've added. Once you click on update, this sort of script tag will be generated. All you need to do now is copy this tag and then paste it within the header section of your website. Your website is now ready to be personalized with the help of the Chrome extension. However, before we dive into that, there's still a few things we need to do in order to complete our initial setup. The first thing I've done is actually create a sample web page that I'm eventually going to be personalizing. I've used WordPress to create this sample landing page and the Brizzy editor. You can use any other landing page editor that you have access to as well. Now in this landing page, I've designated areas where I will be personalizing the text as well as put placeholder images that I'm going to replace with personalized images later on. I've also added a blank container where I'm going to be inserting my video. So this is what the editor section of my landing page looks like. However, the plugin will actually be invoked in the final published version of the landing page, which looks something like this. So it doesn't matter what landing page editor you're using because you're going to be using the Chrome extension directly on the published or final version of this page. Another point to note, which I will be reiterating later on in the video as well is, if you want to add a personalized image, it can only be added to an existing image container. Whereas if you want to add a personalized video or personalize the text, you can do that on any existing element container or div tag. Please keep in mind that this will become clearer once you start using the plugin and once we go through this entire example. Once you've determined and prepared the layout of the landing page you're going to personalize, it's time to move on to Nextweave to structure the templates. So as I mentioned earlier, I want to insert a personalized video as well as one, two and three personalized images. Now I can head over to Nextweave and identify the templates that I want to use. Within Nextweave, you can use any of the existing templates from the public libraries or clone them or create your own templates from scratch. To learn how to create your own personalized templates, please have a look at our help docs and YouTube tutorials. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've already created the video as well as the three image templates that I want to use in my website. Once you identify the templates, you next need to create a quick campaign around them. So quick campaigns are basically single template campaigns on Nextweave that make them available to use externally. Once you identify the template within your library or the template library, just click on the menu against it and then click on use. You'll be able to see the variables used in the template to the right and you can change their values to test them out. When you're satisfied with the template, simply enter a name and then click on quick campaign to launch the campaign. And that's done. And this video will now be available to easily use within the website personalization extension. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the exact method with the remaining three image templates that I've identified and want to use. So we're officially done with the initial setup. You can now proceed to the published versions of your web pages or landing pages and start to personalize it. So once you're on this web page, click on the extension icon within your Google Chrome 
toolbar and then click on the next week website personalization plugin to invoke it now if this is if you're doing this for the first time you're going to be prompted to enter an api key and this only happens as i mentioned for the first time that you access this plugin to get this key go back to your next week account and navigate to the integration section here you can simply click on add key set a name for the key and add key again then you can copy the generated key and back within your google chrome extension bar simply paste the api key once your key is verified you're going to receive a sort of confirmation and get this message that will prompt you to start the editor you will see a sort of model appear on the bottom right or left of your screen where you'll be prompted to select campaigns now a couple of things to note here the first is that only quick campaigns are permitted here which is why during the setup we created quick campaigns around the images and videos that we wanted to use for personalization the second thing to note is that you can select up to 5 quick campaigns now since a quick campaign only pertains to one single template that effectively means that you can use up to 5 images gifs or videos to personalize your landing pages from the drop down that appears here i'm going to go ahead and select the four quick campaigns that is around the video and the three images that i just created once these campaigns are selected click on use campaigns you will receive a confirmation message that says campaigns data has been imported successfully You can now go ahead and click on different containers whether they are element containers or individual text and image boxes to start editing them. So let's start with the first text. The variables that you see listed here that is username, website and business name are actually a union of the variables that have been used in each of these individual templates. So all four of the templates that I've used have username website or business name either all three or some subset of these three variables to add personalization to this text all you need to do is simply click on the variable of your choice and add it to the placement in the text as you wish so i'm going to change this header from use personalized media to use personalized media to boost your engagement username so as soon as my user logs into this page they're going to see their name up front and center now as you may recall i had added empty containers uh, where i intended to place my personalized video so i can click on any of these containers and i'm going to be able to edit the text and the video here as i'd mentioned earlier to reiterate at this point that in any md element or div tag you can edit text or video however if i want to edit the image i have to do that within an image component only so i'm going to click on the md container where i wanted to place my video and then from my website personalization interface navigate to the video tab now since i've only created i've only inserted a quick campaign for one video i only see one video within this list I would be able to see more had I included more campaigns around those videos. So I'm just going to select the video to insert and automatically it's going to be positioned here. Another point to note here is that I can't really control um the width of the video or the size that the component takes, which is why it's important for you to pre-create a layout for the landing page that you want to eventually personalize. because there are certain details such as the positioning of the text the layout etc which will not which you won't be able to control from the plugin or extension interface itself let's proceed to the remainder of the landing page so in order to insert a personalized image here i'm going to click on the placeholder image that i added and then from the list that appears inside the campaign mode uh, inside the website personalization model i'm going to add the personalized image move this to the right and click on the text element to edit that let's proceed now as you can see i can also add personalized gifs 
inside my landing page so that can add sort of an interesting element um, to your landing pages as well and I'm gonna insert some additional variables here as well and then move on to the final image Now what's interesting is that I don't just have to stick to text elements individually. I can also personalize the text inside buttons, which will make for, for more powerful CTAs. Uh, but you have to preempt this and ensure that you make the button size compatible for this increased text. So I'm just going to change this to start now. Now, once your personalization is done, you can close this window. At any time, if you want to reverse any changes, you can always click on remove changes. And when you're happy with this page, you can see the total number of personalization changes that have been made. All you need to do is click on save. Once you click on save, you will receive a notification informing you that your data has been saved successfully. You can always reopen the website editor by clicking on it and go ahead and edit any components that you want to change. You can also reset this page at any time to remove all of the personalization changes that have been made. Now that we're done building our personalized landing page, the next question is what this landing page would look like from our audience's perspective. So to test this out, I'm gonna copy my landing page URL and open it within the incognito mode of Google Chrome. The reason I'm doing this testing in incognito is because my website extension is still active inside Google. So when I open this landing page inside my incognito mode, I can see that there are no personalization changes that have taken effect. So it's still showing me the default version of my landing page. This is because we've not specified any overrides that the personalized variables should take. This is going to be the next step of our tutorial. So this is the original URL of my landing page without any overrides for what values my personalization variables should, should take. And these are the three variables that I employ when I personalize my landing page. Username, business name and website. We now need to override this original URL and specify what values we want these variables to take. So for this, you can use the following technique to modify your URL change the font color at the end of your URL enter the following syntax type question mark and then write var underscore your variable name and then enter the value that you want this variable to take for any additional variables you need to put the ampersand and then again var underscore the variable name equal to the value that you want to put that you want this variable to take so I'm going to follow this process once again for my final variable in this list so this becomes my modified URL where I've specified that I want the username variable to take the value of Shreya the business name to take the value of Apple and the website to take the value of apple.com Let's have a look at what this looks like. So let's copy and paste this URL on a new tab. And you'll see the page refresh to show my name in the header. If I play this video, I see that it is personalized for me too. And further the other text that I specified as well as the images show the information that I have specified in this URL. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please do give it a shot and tell us how it works for you. Uh, there are multiple use cases uh, for custom landing pages and personalized landing pages that we've covered that you can access from our YouTube channel and do have a look at our help talks to learn all there is to know about Nextweave. Happy personalizing.